I forgot to cast Speak with Animals. <laughs> Emiku Animas. No, still incapable. Incapable of what? Not for you to know. Oh, come on! Oh, plus 12 on this. Got a road at 19. Well, that's overkill. Come close. Your mind to mine. Are you in this conversation, Dustin? Yes. <laughs> we are much alike. A kindred alike. spirit. But I only wish to be an ox. You understand? I don't want to be an ox. I don't mean yet, but we can't always get what we want. <laughs> I don't care what you might be behind it all. You're an officer. How very kind. I'm so glad you understand. Here, a little token between friends for your discretion. He never actually gives you anything, by the way. Unless they finally fixed it. Yeah, no, I didn't get anything. <laughs> but, uh, depending on your choices, as the Dark Art is there, you can actually just brutally, like, destroy him. And he doesn't fight back because he wants to be an ox. And when he dies, his shape shift just form fades away. And you just see like a pile of warped flesh. Oof. Talk about that damn oil lighter. Let me see. Here you go. Find me. Yeah, good job. Or one fucking spell slot. Oh, not as bad as it could have. Are you running off to? Oh, I saw Bex in the distance. Swift as my feet can carry me. Bex. Please, yeah. I just want to be alone. Who are you? <laughs> really? <sighs> Fine. Fine. Um, I thought I talked to them before. I'm Bex. I was traveling to Baldur's Gate. Cultists. It was so dark. I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up. Cut us up. Said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I managed to get away. But my love... Done it. Done it. 
Martin Dole of Rosha. <laughs> That's just so my to die. It sounds like he meant a lot to you. Everything. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Don't give up on him yet. Do you really think so? By the gods, I hope you're right. I wish I hadn't let go of him. By the gods, I promise I'll bring Dennis back safely. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, it would mean the world to me. Careful, fucking butt. I guess we you talk to her. I have. Who? I always talk to them. I guess that's the couple you've been trying to save this entire time. Yes, and I'm still working on saving. <laughs> the only thing I want out of this game. I want, De I want Bex and Dennis to get the little house in Baldur's Gate with the little cat door. The question is, where's Dennis? Oh, she told you. She told us. He's, they took him to Minrest Towers. And she, just, she just assumes he's dead because he's incompetent. I mean, that is fair. <laughs> hey, Mattis. I do both. Welcome to our humble... <laughs> Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam. We were all like, whoa. How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? <laughs> Ah, nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. He's gonna look up to you. That's nice to see. It is, isn't it? Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Everything. Yours is the first happy face I've seen in a good while. I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? Let me see what you have. Let me see what you got. Cloak of the Cunning Broom. We ain't got that. Yeah, I think that's about it. Ring of res you want? Do you want a ring of resistance to ants? <laughs> that's great. What about a ring of infinite wishes? <laughs> what about a ring of luckiness? I'm sorry, luckinesis. Lekinesis. Lekinesis. <laughs> Not telekinesis, lekinesis. <laughs> That's great. What about a, a ring of being really invisible? <laughs> this ring... The ring is missing this gym, or perhaps it's just very... It's just very invisible. It's translucent, so it's not there. Hey, 
he can sell a cloak that uh, a star you need to use, or you. Uh, it's probably a star again, though. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Sick <Sequel. laughs> Say. Yeah. Do you want to give that? Do you want to give that to a starian? Sure. I see yeah. His Majesty sleeping on a pillar. Hiss. I say hiss. Ah. Oh, I <laughs> I see. Yes, perhaps you're right. Have a civil discussion. Fine. How did you get to this it place? It was quite straightforward. I slinked. Speak about hello. Are you thinking of around Plenty here? Plenty of pointless banging about. The only highlight was when the cleric here promised me a bit of milk that is yet to materialize. My conclusion? She's a liar. <laughs> What's your name? I call myself His Majesty. I can see you someone in my in my camp. Care to join? I'd rather die. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, should I talk to him as a steer? No, as yourself. As we will we'll jump in. Yeah, he does. Your move, more. You trap me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the knight goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Siri. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's square now, chief? Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Mole's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the <laughs> game well, and she wants to win. Break the game with sleight of hand. You don't have the option that I had. What was your option? Uh, I, I could tell her to attack. To take the Sirit. You shouldn't be playing around with as many as the devil. Theskan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. How's that for Callum Sham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played.
Don't I? Indeed. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying, she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old, well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm. I don't know, insulting the devil's intellect kind of goes against their ego, so. Well, up to you. I kind of want the conversation to go forward. I'm just along for the ride, buddy. That's it. Really? It's something very important to your master. But is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I could give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it and get back to you. You'll get back to me? This is important, devil. When? Don't worry, <laughs> I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Folk hero helping the little guy. Feskin Factition. <laughs> Last night's best bargain, right? Uh, Quill. Definitely the board. That's a. How many inspirations do we get for that one conversation? Like four. Be patient. Your chance is brief. Can you talk to Root? Nah, I didn't talk to nobody. What's up for discussion? You want to talk to Barkus Root? I may talk to Barkus. I did talk. Hey, Barkus. Last night's best. Ah, you found your way. Good. Oh, yeah. I told you that I'd help you rescue Wolverine and the others. This is my first stop. I haven't forgotten. And as it happens, I was making something to help you on your way. That Boop. is, if you're still going to help Wolbrin and the others. Boop, boop. Of course I am. In that case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, boop, boop. but with an extra surprise. I call it the brilliant retort. Yeah. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there, you'll need it. If you're going to save Wolbrin. How? How did the Deep Gnomes get trapped in the towers? They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Boops. Boops. Taken Boops. against Boops. their will All by the those boops. cultists. All the boops. 
If I ever get my hands on one of them, well, with you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. I'd like to mean what to do. Let's not ruin the surprise. Hmm? You, you do whatever it is you do. <laughs> Some of us are counting on you. Oh, I like I, I like barges. Warbird's a fucking cock. I don't give two fucks about Warbird, but I like barges. Hey, Dougie, would you like to talk to Jahira? Sure. Yes. Oh, shit. I need to hit the button. To your very good health. <laughs> Just stare at her. Oh, oops. You, you were so kind. I accidentally gave you guys instead. head. I could give you more, but your minimum is higher than six. I know, right? I have expertise in insight and perception. She is anxious for you to drink the wine first. And it's an anxiety you recognize. Not every maid prefers a blade in the ribs or arrow in the back. Some prefer poison. No, oh, you're still I, good. I didn't realize wisdom was a uh medicine? Yeah. Yep. You almost had a one though. I know, right? You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. <laughs> well, consider this an experiment, then. Indulge <laughs> me. Bottoms up. Oh. Everybody disapproval will. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? But a river can flood and break its banks. If the parasite changes you, tries to break you, could you resist? Good. I will take your word for it. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. Oh! I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. <laughs> Try to... <laughs> Thorn. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. 
Talk to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorne live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. That dude always looks so happy. He does. Hope is losing one easily Saturday. Deal in action, so tell me, what's the plan? <laughs> Monk. <laughs> Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Seems like I'm doing most of the heavy lifting. Good. Well, yeah, that's what for. That's all right. Without a cure for your infection, your days are number two. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, Keep drinking wine when we meet. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel. We're already a good. faithful cleric of Seluna. We did the same. Oh, yeah. the light in the darkness. I was just saying what the... She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Oh. Tell her I sent you. And she'll see you through the shadows safely. I have a kitty cat. 